Hello and welcome to Student Chambers. Thank you for watching and we will be conducting our next short tutorial video following our SI unit presentation. We will be looking at how you work out work and power. All of the resources used in this video will be found on BBC's Bite Size page. It will be under the Science section and in the Physics category. So let us begin by looking at what is work. Work is done whenever a force moves something. Everyday examples of work include walking upstairs, lifting heavy objects, pulling a sledge and pushing a shopping trolley. Whenever work is done, energy is transferred from one place to another. Now, this is an important topic within electrical installations. You may get asked this question in your exams, so it is worthwhile knowing how to calculate work done. Relating this back to the industry, many people watching this video may be students, apprentices, qualified electricians, and now when working on site, you know there is a lot of moving and handling, we were moving a lot of cables. Imagine moving three, four drums of twin and earth 2.5 cables. If you're taking them from ground floor all the way up to second floor, there's a lot of work done. If you don't have any energy, then you're not going to be able to move your drums effectively. So looking at this example on the BBC Bite Size, a man pushes a box with a force of 10 newtons and moves it to a distance of 2 meters. So, firstly I would like you all to work out, well to write down our triangle. This is our, our work done triangle. We have many different types of formula triangles and they help you remember how to calculate certain formulas easy. So if we would like to work out work done, that will be force multiplied by distance. Work done is measured in joules, force is measured in newtons and distance is measured in meters. So what you would have to do is the force is 10 newtons that the picture above and is, the box is moved by 2 meters. So 10 newtons multiplied by 2 meters gives us 20 joules. And again if you would like to work out the force that would be work done divided by the distance which will give you the force. So this is just a short tutorial on how you work out work done. I will be putting up more questions on different SI units so as long as you get familiar with how you work out calculating work done then you'll be able to answer the questions effectively and easily. So please look out at our other videos for more activities. Thank you for watching.